So Martita, starting us off, what are two of your favorite tips to make a backyard barbecue something really special? Two super important things. It's hot out, so we need to have cold beverages on hand. And we want to have some fun summertime music playing in the background. As soon as my guests arrive, what can I get you to drink? And then we've got the fun music playing in the background. We get the grill going. Those three things, we got a great summer party already getting started. So when I think about grilling, I think about steaks, but I have to tell you, cooking steak can be intimidating. So what tips do you have to get for, for those of us that are just getting started? We're gonna make this super simple. Start off with pre. I love their steaks, I love their meat. First of all, it's grass fed and grass finished. So it's nutritious, it's delicious, and it's lean. Now, I also love that they have all our favorite cuts of meat, right? Um, some people in my family like a filet, others like a ribeye. I personally love the New York. They even do the burgers. So all our favorite cuts of meat, grass fed, grass finished. All right, so now that we've got our great cut of steak, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab a paper towel and you're gonna pat dry that meat really good. Get as much moisture out as you can. Then we're gonna drizzle with some olive oil. And now we're gonna be super generous with the salt and pepper. So we're gonna let this rest here for like 20, 30 minutes. And while that is resting and the temperature's coming down on our meat, we're gonna heat up that grill. So while this is getting hot, the temperature's coming down on this, right? Because we don't wanna go cold meat to hot grill, no. Temperature came down, the grill is hot, now we put it on the grill. This is what's gonna give you that delicious crust, that beautiful sear. You do four minutes on each side, you've got the perfect steak. And it seems that summer is one of the busiest times of year. What are some easy meals for the weeknight? This is where having a properly stocked fridge and pantry come in hand. And I always have these Amy Lou sausages in my refrigerator for just this reason. Um, Chicken sausages, no antibiotics, no hormones, but they're packed with flavor. I love the apple gouda. Also, we always have the roasted garlic and asiago on hand. Um, because they're already cooked through, it makes dinner go a lot faster. So what I like to do in the summer is I put my sausages in a foil pack. Then I chop up some veggies, throw those in there as well. Put that on the grill for a few minutes. It's gonna be ready in no time. So while that is heating up and coming together really nicely, I also like to throw some bread on the grill, whatever bread you have on hand. Throw it on the grill, get it nice and toasty, maybe melt some cheese on it. Look how delicious that sandwich looks. It's so good and it came together like in five minutes. So you open your foil pack, put it on that bread with the melted cheese. Oh my gosh, super, super yum. Everyone in the family is gonna love this weeknight meal. And burgers are the most popular grilling item. What tips do you have to elevate a burger? Burgers are the perfect summertime meal, right? And um, I love pre, again, because they offer a grass-fed, grass-finished burger. And more importantly, it comes like already preformed, so it just makes my life easy, no fuss, no muss. But if you want a different style of burger, something different, do a chicken burger. Amy Lou has great chicken burgers. They're already cooked. They do the caramelized onion and gouda or that Greek style chicken burger that's super delicious. And because they're already cooked, these burgers are gonna be ready in almost no time at all. Um, so your family's probably like mine and everybody likes something different on their burger. So I like to just put all the toppings out there and let everybody assemble their burger their favorite way have all the pickled peppers and all the different pickled things out. I mean, go to the pickled section of your supermarket. There's like 12 things out there. Put a few options out there on the table, different flavored mayos and mustards, tomato, different kinds of cheeses. Lever, let everyone assemble their burger their favorite way. And you're gonna be like the burger grilling queen of the universe.